Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm H Balloon and this is my first video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram or my website, links in the description, to see everything I post and I have already posted. English isn't my native language so forgive me if I make mistakes, I hope that everything will be understandable. In this series we are going to make a video game using this website called Microsoft Arcade Dot .makecode.com It's really really easy to use, you don't need coding because it uses a block editor that I'm going to show you in a minute. At the end of this series we are even going to see how to export our games to different websites, platform or devices like this one, the Mubit. It is really cute, isn't it? As I already said, we can export and play them on other websites like itch.io or GameJolt. This is my profile, by the way. Go check it out, play my games, and let me know if you like them. So, it's time to start. Go on the home page and press New Project. Now we have to name our project. This is the name of the project, not the game that we can change it later, but I'm going to use the same. I'm just calling like dodge this, because in this series we're gonna make a game where the player has to avoid enemies to make more points. So create. This is the interface. Like I said, this is a block editor. So here we're gonna put the blocks and here are the blocks that we're gonna use. And this is the Mubit, like I showed you earlier. And this is the debug mode, so we can play, uh, we can actually play the game here. This is the block on start. It's on every game, it's really, really important. Everything we put in here, it's going to be loaded in the game at the beginning of the game itself. So, for now, we're gonna set a background image to the game. So go on scene, set background image to, put it in there, and press the gray block. Here is the editor. We can draw everything we want, but for now, I'm going to gallery. That is the prefab gallery of this website. I'm going to choose this one, and then click done. Now you're gonna see that this one is loaded in the game. So we can actually play them, but nothing happens. So we have to add a player. Go on sprites, set my sprite to, put under the background image, even inside the on start block. We have to call a new variable called player Sprite, okay, and set the sprite to something already uh, created in this website. I'm going to choose, I need a bird, this one seems a duck, but I don't care. Yeah, it's called duck, so nobody cares, done. Of kind player, nice, okay, so the player is here, but nothing happens if we press the buttons. So we're going to controller, move my sprite with buttons, put under. And now we have to see which variable contains our player to move with buttons. So press here, player sprite, it's the same with buttons. So now, as you can see, we can move our player, but something happens if we touch the screen, it fades away. That's because uh, the actual sprite can go out of the screen of the game. So to avoid that, we're going to sprite, go down to effects and Grab this, set my sprite stay in screen on because we want to stay in screen, but we have to say the player sprite. 
Okay, so now we have the player, we can move it with our keyboard too. It doesn't go away in the screen. It all works perfectly. This video ends here. I know it's uh, a really short video, but it's the first one of the series. We're gonna make other episodes longer, I promise. Um, for now, we just set up our project and we are created our player that moves in the scene but uh, we are going to add a lot of more features like enemies, uh, title screen and so the list goes on so we're gonna see soon remember to subscribe and follow me bye